Italy to go first against Belarus, the gold medal match at the women's team's archery. And a perfect way to start for Gwendolina Sartori. The maximum 10. And now here she is, Natalia Valeva. Representing her country at the Olympic Games since 1992. Every Olympics she has attended since 1992, a marvellous record. Here is the third member of the Italian team, Elena Tonetta. Herself an Olympian from 2008. The Beijing Games. So Italy start the first rotation in the first set with 25 points. It certainly left the door open for Belarus to claim an early Advantage. It's Hanna Marusova. Provisional nine, likely to be a ten. Marusova, a very experienced archer. Silver medalist in the team's event for her country at the 2013 World Championships. So we have uh, some high quality archers in this final. And here's another one. Ekaterina Tomofieva presented her country at the last two Olympics. 17th at the individual in 2012 at London. 23rd at Beijing, 2008. She starts with a nine, so... Slight advantage to Belarus, 26 provisionally, could be 27. With Maru Sava's arrow likely to be upgraded to a 10. Satori opens with a 9. She followed her 10 with her first arrow, so solid start from her. Well, a nervous start for Natalia Valeva, a seven and an eight. Eight. Well, eights, three eights and a seven to Italy in that set looking for an improved effort in set number two. So Belarus likely to be 27, and he's just 24 to take this first set. Marusova has just put a touch of pressure on her teammates by opening with just a seven in the second rotation. Nine will definitely secure the first set for Belarus. Whoa! A one. Can you believe that? Well, the time was counting down. Tomorfieva under enormous pressure there with that two-minute time limit. Right up against her. And Belarus's management skills there. Not as good as you would expect in a gold medal match. And that has just gifted the Italians the first set. Extraordinary. So an average of 20 seconds per arrow is given. So two minutes over the six arrows. So after the first rotation, the clock has just stopped and it's restarted again team returns to the shooting line. So uh, Italy claim the first set in not the circumstances they would have expected, but they'll still take it. Of course, a gold medal is on the line here. This is the gold
gold medal match in the women's team's competition. As we suspected, that uh, arrow has been upgraded by the first arrow from Marusova's arrow has been upgraded from a 9 to a 10, but of course it's immaterial. What happened right at the very end there just a single point scored on that last arrow. Just trying to figure out how that happened. Uh, Belarus have been so solid up till now. 50 to 44, the confirmed set score in set number one. Italy lead two set points to nil in this gold medal match in the women's team's archery competition. Belarus needing to strike back in the second set. Morfieva's range is a little askew at the moment. She will need to settle and settle quickly. Satori. Starts her second set with a nine. She's been solid so far. Two nines and a ten. And score can't. She's the best of the six arches out there at the moment, along with Marusova. You just see Valiva now starting to get into her work. If Tanita could get a 10 here, big advantage to Italy. She finishes with an eight, but that's still a healthy four-point advantage to Belarus. As we've seen in the last uh, set, could be more drama to come, but at this stage, four point advantage should be enough for Italy. Marusova is starting to dial it in nicely. This is Tolkash, who's been a key member of this Belarusian team over the past few years, have medaled regularly at European and at World Championships. Tomofieva needs to strike back here with a 10 or a 9 to settle her confidence. She's got the 10. It's more like it from her. A much stronger finish to that second set. Two 10s and a 9 for Belarus. But Italy can secure the set with 26 points. It's achievable. So an eight-point uh, score there to Satori. So anything in the yellow here from Valiva and Tanetta. Whoa! Well, just like that, as I mentioned, the drama which is unfolding here has been hard to predict. Valiva has just cost Italy winning this second set. A 10 won't even save it for Tanetta. Well, the pressure of the moment, perhaps, is the winner in this grand final so far. Real mixed bag from pretty much all of the archers in this final so far. Belarus have three tens. 
Italy have two. Belarus are going to win that second set. But with a score of only 52 points out of 60. And it may seem a lot of points if you're a casual viewer of archery, but at this level, 52 out of 60 is uh, probably not often a winning score in a set. Pressure of the moment, perhaps. The conditions, the wind is just gusting a little bit again. Here at the Tofik Barmahov Stadium. Yeah, that's it. Archer right there. Natalia Valiva trying to win her second gold medal of these games, having been victorious in the mixed teams competition. That confirms second set score, 52-49. So we're locked up at two set points each. In this best of four set encounter. Remember, if we're tied at the end of four sets, we'll have a shoot off to determine the gold medal winner here in Baku. now oh yes that's the best arrow of the match best arrow of this gold medal encounter so far comes off the bow of Alina Tonetta 28 points that's more like it from the Italians now Hanna Marusova for Belarus Brilliant arrow that time from Torkash. It's just clipped the line. So a one point advantage to Italy. Three arrows left per team in this third set. Two set points each in this gold medal match. Nine has it clipped the ten. There's a question mark against that fourth arrow, you'd have to say. Might be a ten from Sartori, who's consistently the best archer in this Italian team so far. Another contentious arrow there for the Italians. So a little asterisk next to the last two arrows, which have been provisionally scored nine and eight. Could be 10 and nine. We'll see. Well, that's a third one maybe. Looks like it's definitely inside the eight zone there. So 53 to 27 at the moment. A couple of those arrows. A little, a little question mark next to the Italians. Might be 54, even 55 points. What will be in no doubt is if Belarus Torkash gets a 10 here. And then her teammate, Dmorfieva, really needs a 10 here to ensure the Belarus win this third set. Well, that's going to be tough now for Belarus, I'd say. Even though it's provisionally shared the set at the moment, 53 apiece. There's a couple of arrows that might be upgraded in that Italian set. 
So the chances are fairly high that Italy's score will increase once they are certified, those arrows. Brilliant arrow from Tanetta. So her first arrow of that set. Best arrow of the match. And the second 10 in that set came from Tolkash. From Belarus. So Italy taking the first set 50 to 44 following that disastrous last arrow by Timofia, uh, Timofieva, rather, which uh, only scored one point. And Italy with the second set. There's for the taking. Fell away badly in that uh, second set to drop at 52 49. Now we're in the third set. 53 apiece. Let's see what happens. Range number two. The arrow's just been looked at now by the officials. You can see at the target end of the range, 70 metres from the shooting line. And now they are shooting for the gold medal. Discussion going on, isn't there, between the officials there? Some debate about this one. This could be crucial in the outcome of this match. No doubt about that 10. Scored in the centre there. It's just that other one there to the left of the one in the 10 zone, which is under question. Belarus have been up. Belarus have gone to 54. Let's just check Italy, Italy score. And Italy score has gone to 54 as well. Wow, that was uh, tense stuff. As uh, both teams' arrows were scrutinised to the nth degree there. So both upgraded to 54 points, which means the set is shared at one apiece. And we're locked up at three set points each going into the last set. All comes down to these last six arrows in the gold medal match in the women's team's archery, Italy. To go first against Belarus. Wendelina Satori on the range first. It's a seven-pointer, not the start she was looking for. Every arrow absolutely crucial now. Nine. Natalia Valiva scores a nine. And her dreams of winning back-to-back -back gold medals here. Double gold medalist at these games here in Baku. Stay alive for the meantime. Tanetta. So in this all important fourth set, Italy, after their first three arrows, are on 26. This is Hanna Marusova, Belarus. Alina Tulkash. Ten and a nine to her in the last set. She'll need to repeat. Eight. The pressure now on Ekaterina Tomofieva. 10 now to stay in touch with the Italians. She's capable of doing it, but not this time. So a vital two-point advantage to Italy. Getting into these last three arrows. Remember, the winner of this set wins the gold medal here at the women's team's archery. there to Valiva. Oh, 
Right, 51 points to Italy, maybe 52. So it comes down to these final three arrows for Belarus. Three tens will win the gold medal. It's not in doubt. Eights. Well, they're not going to get the job done. Really crucial arrow right here. It's got to be in the 10 zone for Tolkach. Nine. Well, we're all going to be waiting on the certification, the ratification of those arrows at the target end of the range. That's if Timorfieva gets a 10. Nine. She's got a 9. Looks like Italy. It looks like Italy are going to get the gold medal. We're going to wait for ratification, certification of the arrows in the target. But the chances are very high here that Italy are going to be the gold medalists. Looking very good for the Italians, looking excellent for Natalia Valiva. Will become a double gold medalist at these Baku 2015 games. There she is there. With the sunglasses on and the grey cap. She's looking relaxed to Elena Tonetta. Belarus. I don't think they're going to win the gold. It's Italy who have won the gold medal. Gwendolina Satori, Elena Tonetta and Natalia Valeva who becomes a double gold medalist of Baku 2015 have won the gold medal. The women's team's archery defeating Belarus by five set points to three. They've taken that fourth set, 53 to 50. Joy and delight for Italian archery. So much pressure on archers at this level. Huge achievement when you top all of them and win gold at these major events. So for Belarus, they've tried hard. They did superbly well to get to the final, but haven't been quite good enough in this final. So there you are, Italy are the women's team's gold medal winners in the archery here at Baku 2015. They've beaten Belarus by five set points to three. All the medals and the winner of the bronze medal. The gifts. So the Ukrainians winning the bronze medal. Veronica Marchenko, Anastasia Pavlova, Lydia Lushenikova. Veronica Marchenko, middle Anastasia Pavlova. And on the right, Lydia Sachinikova. Wonderful performance from uh, Ukraine. They were down two sets to nil to Russia in that bronze medal match. Locked it up, sent it to a shoot-off. Where uh, each archer shot one arrow and they got the maximum 30. Three tens for Ukraine and the taller there of the uh, Ukrainians needed a 10 to win the bronze medal because Russia had finished with 29 points. Responded to the pressure beautifully. Sinchenikova, bronze to Ukraine who fought through the competition Magnificently, and uh, we've got three very talented archers there, two 22-year-olds and a 20-year-old. Going to be a nation to watch in women's archery in the future. Ukraine, the winners of the bronze medal here in Baku. of the silver medal Belarus they came through and knocked out the top seeds Germany in the quarterfinals beat uh, Ukraine in the semis but they found the Italians a little bit too hot down the stretch although they did take them to the last set all came down to the last six arrows but uh, unfortunately for Hanna Marusova, Alina Tolkach and Ekaterina Timofieva 
just couldn't quite get the job done against the Italians, but still a wonderful achievement, and they continue their strong performances in teams archery over the last several years, where they've also medalled at European and World Archery Championships. The silver medal added to the tallies of all three archers here in Baku at these inaugural European Games. Belarus, the winners of the silver medal. Italy are the gold medal winners. Wonderful performance. Good team archery from Elena Tonetta in the centre there. On the left, the left-handed archer, Gwendolina Satori. And on the right, and now a double gold medalist at these European Games, Natalia Valeva, the 45-year-old. She's been representing Italy at Olympic Games since 1992. And Valeva winning gold earlier in the games in the mixed teams competition now adds women's team gold to her tally here in Baku. Natalia Valeva, Gwendolina Satori and Elena Tonetta. They had to battle through one of their earlier matches, got through in a shoot off against Denmark by a single point. But from there, they just got stronger. And there they are, the gold medalists in the women's team's archery competition, Italy, here at Baku 2015. Italy, the gold medalists of the women's team's archery here at Baku 2015. The silver medal won by Belarus and Ukraine, winners of the bronze medal.